Hey everybody, and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic. Eventually, like these two right here, they should be nostalgic before long. A couple of these retro looking Marvel Legends action figures from the Daredevil comics, Elektra and Bullseye. Now, I can't wait to get these out of the package, but I'll have to keep them separated because if you know anything about these characters, they don't play too well together. So let's open them up and find out. Here today we have these Marvel Legends figures from the Daredevil comics, Elektra and Bullseye. Now these two didn't play well together in the comic books, so let's set Bullseye aside for right now and check out Elektra. That's a pretty good illustration of her on the cover of this retro looking card back. And here she is on the inside with a couple of ninja size that she uses in her assassinations. On the back it has a little cut out collector card. It says Electra trained by trained as a ninja by the hand. Electra Nachios became the deadliest of assassins in high demand. So let's very carefully use our knife and free her from this plastic prison. And she had a really neat mini series back in the day that I recently had found a collected edition of that. And I might have to reread it here after getting her out. It'd be nice to know who did the artwork for these, but I never saw on the package if they give any credit to the artist. I got a pretty good guess what this says. All of that for a choking hazard. Yep. I knew it. She has these tiny size that are probably easy to lose so that they can choke on them really easy. So don't put toys in your mouth. And here is Electra the Assassin. These retro looking Marvel Legends characters have pretty simple articulation. Her arms do turn and move up and down. Her head turns a little bit and her hair, which is, looks like kind of some kind of rubber, kind of flows with it. She has a sash around her waist. And some paint around her uh, legs there. And this figure also has holes in its feet. But she holds the size really well. And the only thing I think would make this character better and a little more poseable is uh, having the knees bend. But it, it's all right. She looks like she'll stand up nicely. And she does so well enough unaided. So let's set her aside and open up that bullseye. Now bullseye is a hitman hired by the kingpin a lot and has been in uh, many comic books including Daredevil and Spider-Man and just about anywhere he can his skills are for hire. And he was throwing around playing cards long before there was a gambit on the X-Men doing that. Here is the collected card. Pretty much the same picture as on the front. And it said Marvel's Bullseye. 
a man of mystery and assassin for hire. When Bullseye arrives, Daredevil comes under fire. Yeah, it sure would be nice to know who the artists of these things were. Let's set that aside and get him out. I'm going to guess this paper says the same thing as Electra's did. And he comes with a couple of sides as well. A couple of weapons to help him in his job of being an a assassin for hire. Bullseye's thing is he never misses. That's why he could take anything, turn it into a weapon, and have many awesome outcomes. He too has the holes in his feet and a hole in his back. I didn't notice one if Electra had one. No. But he has a hole in his back as well. I've seen some of the other Marvel Legends characters have that. Makes me wonder if there's because they use the same mold for several of the bodies, there may be some attachment that goes on some other character. But this has the same kind of articulation as the Electra figure with the spinning hands, shoulders move, and his hips. So him being the same size as the Star Wars and the G.I. Joes, you can play with him in a lot of different ways. And he stands up pretty nicely too. And so we have Marvel Legends from the Daredevil comic strip, or comic book, Elektra and Bullseye. Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all the toys are nostalgic, eventually. And I really like these little Marvel Legends action figures because they remind me of the Secret Wars action figures when I was a kid. Except they came with those uh, lenticular shields that had the different scenes on it. Secret message. But these came with uh, their little weapons and but still they're a little better. Not quite as cool but they still remind me of those Secret Wars action figures. So be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. See y'all next time.